Hi, my name's Tim Quateria. I'm a crew manager for Devon and Somerset Fire and Rescue Service. We want to work with people of the community and allow them to live happy, safe, healthy and independent lives. Hoarding, hoarding is an uncomfortable thing to talk about. People don't routinely talk about it. My dad was a mechanic by trade and he always had his head in a combustion engine of some sort. His property had every car part you can imagine. He also heated his home with a makeshift DIY oil burner. So he also collected, retained, used engine oil to heat that oil burner. There was dangerous conditions because of the weight of all his belongings. And it was heartbreaking to come across all of my childhood memories. My dad saw value in it and he kept it. And he was right because it was stuff that I cherished from my childhood. But because of his hoarding, it had been destroyed. I wish I had that uncomfortable conversation with my dad when he was alive, because help is there. <sighs> Devon and Somerset Fire and Rescue Service want to speak to you, want to help you to live safely at home. We offer free home fire safety visits. Hoarders can be at increased risk of fire. Their number of possessions can also lead to exit routes being blocked, making safe evacuation out of their property more difficult and fire spread much faster, especially if doors can't be closed and where flammable items such as papers and newspapers are blocking the exit. We don't judge at all, we just want to help. And if it means we need to fit additional smoke alarms, additional equipment to your property, we will. That way, if a fire broke out, you could be given early indication that that fire was there, allowing you to take action. Additionally, we want to protect our operational fire crews. Because if, in the unlikely event, a fire did break out, we would have to commit firefighters to that. And because of all the collections, all the possessions that you may or may not have in the property, that would inc increase the risk of those firefighters. There would be a rapid escalation of the fire if it was combustible material. There's a possibility of entrapment for those firefighters and there's an increased risk of structural collapse. If a fire did break out of my dad's property, I very much doubt he would have been able to get out uninjured or get out at all. So what I'm here talking to you today is please, if you have loved ones, if you have friends, if you have family members, if you are a person that has a high amount of collections within their property. Please speak to someone, please have that uncomfortable conversation with them. Please get in contact with, because we can help. <laughs>